Hello, I'm Joe Beretta, and this is SourceFed. A very renowned biologist by the name of Bern Heinrich has gone and thrown support for a theory regarding moths and butterflies into the ether of the science world. And his controversial conclusion is super interesting, but it's got a lot of science panties tied up in science knots. You see, he was contemplating on why creatures with the power of flight like birds and bats are born with wings, while moths and butterflies start out as disgusting little leaf-munching creepy crawly caterpillars. We all know that a metamorphosis occurs within the caterpillar's cocoon that results in a beautiful butterfly, but the theory that Heinrich is supporting as to why this is happening is the hot topic. The theory states that the change is a result of death and resurrection. Direction. One species dies in the cocoon and another entirely different new organism emerges. Not related, different DNA, a new winged creature. He says, the adult forms of these insects are actually new organisms. In effect, the animal is a chimera, an amalgam of two, where the first one lives and dies, and then the other emerges. The theory states, and before we get into the theory, yes, there is a caterpillar above my lip. I get it. Leave it out of the comments. The theory states that two different sets of DNA exist side by side in these creatures, but only one is active at any given time. So, during the caterpillar phase, the caterpillar DNA is active and the butterfly DNA is turned off. Then, the creepy crawly version lives out its creepy crawly life and goes into cocoon mode. Dice. Yeah. Oh God, why? And then a majestic, way more beautiful and awesome creature arises out of the dissolved caterpillar soup. Hi. I'm Elliot. So how could this two-in-one animal even come to exist? His model hypothesizes that way back in the day, two totally different species, one winged, one flightless, accidentally made it. Don't know how you accidentally made it. And the result is that the two strands of DNA came to coexist in the same animal. Inside the chrysalis, one organism dies and turns into mush, but in the mush are a few leftover or imaginal cells that jumpstart the second set of DNA into action. All the proteins and nutrients get mixed up, and BAMO! A totally new animal. This idea isn't exactly new, and a bunch of scientists are like, ah, no freaking way, there's no way that can happen. So, keep in mind that this is just a theory. But the fact that this super respected scientist is showing support for it is a big deal in the science world. How the whole metamorphosis thing came to be is a mystery, but there is no evidence supporting the accidental mating thing. If that's possible, why don't fish die and become crabs, okay? Why can't dogs die and rise again as winged sky bears? Seriously, why, why can't I just die and become Batman, you know? <coughs> I'm fine, I'm good. But the scientist... <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Steve. So what do you guys think about this theory? And if you could come back as any creature, what would you be? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click this annotation, go to sourcefed.com and see the five stories of the day and every story we've ever done. I'm oh! And I'm Lee Newton. Thanks for watching SourceFed. I'm a butterfly. <laughs>